So, I have to let you all in on a little secret. I'm not actually a software developer. That's just the cover story that the CIA gave to me so that I can make it seem kind of plausible. What I'm actually is a militant unicorn breeder. So, what does that mean? What I do is I take horse DNA and mix it with deer DNA, so like deer antlers, and have it shaped in such a way where the resulting product, like when you mix the horse with like the deer DNA with the antlers, you get a unicorn, or at least close enough to a unicorn that most people actually think that it's a unicorn. Now, why would the CIA want this? Well, unicorns are known throughout the world for being magical, magical creatures. So what happens is when they need to kill someone, they send a unicorn out and get it close to where the person they're trying to target is. And then when the unicorn ends up seeing the bad person, the bad person comes to the unicorn and is like, is that a unicorn? Huh. Is that a unicorn? Stop! Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you, you know how Trump said Baghdadi was killed by a dog? No, that's just the cover story. Baghdadi was actually killed by a unicorn. He, he got too close to a unicorn, and uh, the unicorn, stabby, stabby, stabby. That, that's how Baghdadi was taken down. Not by a dog, but by a unicorn. And, like, if you're wondering why this is kept as a secret, it's because if everyone knew that all unicorns are secretly part of the CIA, the whole plan would fall apart. If people thought... Like, unicorns were just byproducts of the CIA, then they wouldn't go up to pet them. They wouldn't go up and be like, huh, is that a unicorn? They'd be like, that's a unicorn, the part of the CIA, stay away. So, um, yeah. I'm a militant unicorn breeder. Secretly work for the CIA, making unicorns that go stabby stabby. Yeah.